hi family this is coach gabby welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be talking about how you can write a canadian cv format right so in our last videos i've talked about how to write a uk cv format and an american cv format and today i'm going to be talking about how to write a canadian cv format all right so canada deals with you know just like um usa canada calls their cv a resume they prefer resume than cv unlike uk that make use of cv and don't forget i've already laid the foundation by differentiating between cv and resume in my previous video so if you are what if you are yet to watch that video i would advise that you go over to that video and learn the differences between cv and resume because it's really going to help you a lot to understand what i'm about to talk you know what i'm about to share in this video all right before i continue kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and please share with your friends that might need this information thank you all right welcome back now talking about canadian cv format there are structure order and you know formats to follow in order for you to land yourself a job or in canada be it a remote gig or an on-site job there are formats to follow you know sometimes employers are qualified for the job but the resume is what keep you know making them to lose out on opportunities because when it comes to canada they deal with ATS. When we're talking about the ATS, ATS, they use it. They take it serious in Canada. They use it mostly because they don't have all the time to be checking out CVs one after the other. So they just use the filter resumes using ATS, which is applicant tracking system. It's a software. And if your resume is not ATS optimized, is not a ATS standard it's likely you don't get an opportunity even to be interviewed not to, not to talk of getting the job right so it is not that you are not qualified yes you have all the qualifications yes you've done the courses you've done everything that you can but if you keep applying for jobs and you are getting rejected then you should know that there is something wrong with the resume and not just about you you may know everything about the job but you have to be able to communicate it in your resume using keywords and ensuring that it is ats standard right so let's dive into it first of all let me talk about the cv or resume formats that we have generally and i have to talk about these three differences so that you can know the kind of resume to submit for different job applications because i feel that if you understand this three the differences between these three types of cv or resume formats that we have it's very much easier for you to tailor your resume to us you know different kind of job applications right and if you are following a career path then you will know the one that you have to use so that you can land yourself that job right so let's talk about the three types of cv or resume format you have the first one is the chronological format and this is also called a traditional you know cv format and the second one is a functional cv or resume format where the third one is you know a combination or hybrid cv or resume format right so let's talk about the chronological the chronological cv format is the one that talks more about your professional qualification and achievements you know more than your skills it's emphasized more on your professional qualifications and achievements so when you are writing a chronological cv format you have to talk more about your experience you know your qualification and, ach and achievements in that particular field rather than focusing on your skills and for those that are meant to be using the chronological seed format are those that are actually following a career path let's say for example you've been in a particular industry for many years you've been you know let's say for example you've been working in the banking industry for so many years so you've garnered experience in the banking industry for like 6 10 20 you know years then you have to use the chronological order because it emphasizes it's emphasized more on the professional 
experience and achievement rather than the skills so when you're writing a chronological format cv you're starting with your career objectives then you go over to your professional or your work or your career experience or work experience you are emphasizing on it and when you are talking about your achievements your duties and achievements under the work experience you make sure that you use you know the words that are in in tune or in line with the job description right because for every job role or for every job um applications there is a description that's you have to meet there are requirements that you have to meet so if you have that requirement make sure that you you, you use the keywords in your resume or your cv right so talking about chronological c chronological cv format it prioritizes relevant experience and achievement and it is mostly used by people that are following a career path people that have spent a long time in a particular industry that means that you are not jumping from different industry or you're not jumping different experiences you're following a career path so the chronological cv format is for you and that is why when i want to work on the client cv i like to check their current background what they have done in the past so that i will know the format to follow so this is really going to help you and this is an example that you can follow as i'm showing you on the screen right so it follows a career path like you know you just keep growing in that particular phase so the chronological cv format is for you if this is your case all right the second one which is the functional cv format this one emphasizes more on skills and abilities rather than work experience in fact it doesn't really talk about the work experience when we are talking about the functional cv format it talks more about the you know the skills or abilities that the person have and this is mostly used by those that just you know finish school maybe you just finished college you, don't, you just graduated from high school or something and you want to work you want to submit your cv for a job right so this focuses more on your skills what you have gone and maybe you've done caregiving it's not as if you, you did it as a profession maybe you've done you know public speaking you know something for students you know there are some skills that you may have garnered in the course of your you know school your your schooling your college days high school days and you just want to create a cv for yourself you don't have a work experience then the functional cv format is for you right these are the ones for this this cv emphasizes more on your abilities your skills and you know and with minimal details about your work experience because some don't even have work experience some have limited work experience so the functional cv format is majorly used by you know people in this category right also the functional cv format is used by people with you know long um work long gap experience in their jobs maybe you've worked for a while and you know you maybe you work for some years and you have a long career gap or a long gap between jobs then you might need to use a functional cv format because for some persons maybe because um it can be because of health it can be because of you know childbearing it can be because of you know one thing or the other maybe education you have a long um work gap then you might need to use the functional cv format and i want you to watch this video to the end because i'm going to mention something as regards this right so that is that about the functional cv format now the third one which is the hybrid or the combined cv or resume format about the combined or the hybrid cv format this is for those with diverse work experience diverse background you know work experience let's say for example today you work as an accountant tomorrow you work as a customer service you know you're not following a definite career path you've worked in different you know industries different um skills and all that then the combination or the hybrid cv format is for you and this is also um talking about the hybrid or the combination as before this emphasizes more on transferable skills and qualifications so let's say for example you want to write the cv you start with your um, personal summary or professional summary followed by your skills or core competencies your skills and core competencies and qualifications right then followed by the work experience and followed by the certifications and all that so this is the format that 
the hybrid or the combinational cv format follows now that you now know the differences between the three now let me tell you something that you need to take note of the functional cv is not is not advisable it's not i won't advise that you use the functional cv format because it doesn't talk it, you don't have much details about the work experience that you have done and this can be a total turn off so i won't advise that even as a recent graduate or an undergraduate or somebody or somebody with zero work experience i won't advise that you still stick with you know the functional cv format or resume format right reason because the work experience is minimal there is no much details you know for the res for the recruiter or the hiring manager to check out and sometimes the format can be you know can just be a total turn off so i would advise that you follow it the hybrid formats which is the combination of work experience you know maybe volunteering experience any experience that you have done with the qualifications and transferable skills and for those that i feel like they don't even have a work experience let me tell you that what you've done in high school the courses the classes leadership there are things that you can also emphasize on as you know a volunteering experience or something that you have learned you should be able to you should be able to put that also in your cv because it counts for something there is no waste of you know skills experience or you know whatever that you've learned in the past be it staying with your grandma staying with somebody caring for babies you know something like that it's, there are skills that you can also emphasize on there are things that you can put in your cv this is something that have helped you know some clients to do and it has really worked for them so you really don't have to just prepare any house cv just because you have no you, just because you don't have a work experience there are ways to go about this and i've just shared you know tips on how you can go about that now let's jump right into the canadian cv format so how do you write a canadian cv format okay so like i said earlier canadian make use of resume and not cv so, so what i'm going to be talking about now is the canadian resume format right because canada don't make use of cv they emphasize more on resume and they use ats the most trust me make sure that you pay close attention to what i'm about to share with you so talking about the canadian cv format how do you write a canadian cv format so there's just a slight difference between the canadian cv and the usa cv resume format because both usa and canada make use of resume mostly and not cv right so when talking about a canadian cv format canada emphasize on keywords just like usa you know and when it comes to canadian cv you have to quantify your achievements like your increases for example after writing your work experience part of the things that you include is that you increases by 10 percent you know you just have to quantify it with you know using percentage using words and numbers like that so when it comes to canadian cv you quantify your achievement you include keywords because they make use of ats and talking about ats you have to make use of keywords because by the time they filter you through the ats it's going to pick out keywords that are related to the job description so you don't want to miss that aspect you have to make sure that your resume is keyword rich right and also the canadian cv format follows you know the combination or the hybrid format you can also use the chronological format but it's more of the hybrid format just like i explained because when you're writing a canadian cv format you start with the skills first after your contact information then you go over to your professional summary then you go to the skills because they are more particular about the skills that you have garnered over the years right so you have to start with your skills your core competencies or the highlights of your qualifications and then you you the next um session that comes after is your work experience and when you're writing your work experience when you're listing the duties or the achievements you have to quantify your achievements right you have to quantify it and when it comes to you know writing your work experiences also you don't just um write um unpaid you don't just section out the volunteering aspect or the internship aspect you have to put it also under your work experience whether it is paid or unpaid or volunteering it's also an experience it's something that you've worked for right so put everything under your work experience and you also have to be particular about the english language the language that they use you know something like high school some you know some other countries 
they can use um they can use another word in, in replacement of high school so but you have to be particular about the canadian english the acceptable format you know like the use of high school internship gpa you know um and more like that so you have to just make that research yourself and be sure that it is a language that they understand so you have to speak their own language and you have to include it in your resume and because another reason is because they are going to use that language in, they are going to input those languages inside the ats format so you have to make sure that it includes what the ats machine can pick right so that is that about writing the canadian cv format it's not really different from you know the usa um, resume format because they both use resume and the formats are likely the same just the language and you know you have to quantify your achievements when it comes to canadian cv and one more thing is that canada requests you know canadian job applications mostly request for cover letter so i would advise that you have your cover letter ready when you want to apply for jobs because most of them they are more particular about how you can communicate your value so you should have a cover letter to back up your job applications and sometimes they call it your um, um your statement statement of purpose or something they use different language for it so it's just like a cover letter just for you to communicate your values i want to see how you can communicate how you can give language to what you want to offer to you know to their organization or their company so you should be able to do that right also please don't include unnecessary information no one is interested in your religion no one is interested in your date of birth no one is interested in your sex no one is interested in your picture canadian don't want to see your picture is not needed in a canadian resume format trust me you don't need to put your picture in fact that is not even needed when it comes to writing a canadian cv you don't need to put your picture at all so don't, don't put unnecessary information just go straight to the point go add your requirements the qualifications and every detail that is needed you know for the job description is very very important you have to emphasize on it and i hope that this is this explains it better for everyone that is watching this video and please do let me know if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and then i'll be glad to you know respond as soon as i can and if you want to reach out to me via mails for my services or for questions or for inquiries yeah go to my description and you are going to see my mail you see link to follow me across my social media platforms and i can't wait to be of up to you all right thanks for watching this video please please make sure you like you, you comment and you share with your friends that might need this information and finally don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel come on subscribe to my youtube channel let's make this channel grow let's grow let's grow let's grow all right bye